Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the blue Vivo 5 Another one Now this might be the king of the budget phones right here, but we're gonna find out First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from Go to amazon.com I'll throw the link up in the description All right, so we got the blue Vivo 5 now the price for this $199.99 so you're looking at 200 bucks. Now it's available in two different colors. You got gold or you got silver. All right, pause this and read it for yourself if you want, but we'll go through the specs real quick. Now let's check out the specs from the back of the box. Make it a little easier. Brace yourself. All right, these specs are ridiculous. All right, so we got the blue Vivo 5. Now you got a 5.5 inch HD Super AMOLED display. And you know how I feel about those AMOLED displays. They always a win. Now you got a resolution of 1280 by 720. That's 268 for the PPI Patrol. Now you got super strong Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Okay, you got a powerful OctaCore 1.3 gigahertz processor with a 64-bit chipset. It's running Android Lollipop 5.1. You got 4G LTE speeds up to 150 megabytes. You got a 13 megapixel main camera with phase detection and autofocus. You got a 5 megapixel camera in the front, okay, with uh, blue final touch. You got 32 gigs internal memory with 3 gigs of RAM. You got a 3,150 milliamp battery with quick charge. Now it's made out of 6.9 millimeter thin aluminum unibody housing. CNC polished chamfered edge design. All right, now those specs on paper sound ridiculous. All right, so let's check this one out. Nice looking presentation too. I like the gold box with the V on it. Real simple and clean. Let's check this one out. All right, so inside here's your phone. Little velvet tray right here. Let's check out the, the headphones now. I love it when they throw some headphones in here. Nice looking headphones. We'll put them to the test in a minute. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Okay, now keep in mind, this also uses USB-C charging. Okay, so you got a little USB-C adapter right here. USB to USB-C. Quick charge on deck. Here's a USB cable. USB to USB-C. Here's your charging brick. Okay. Quick charge on this. Let's see what else. Okay, now you get a little case right here. Okay, nothing fancy, but a little case. I like that. Let's see, your usual books and shit. We'll follow those to the side. A lot of stuff in here. You get a screen protector. All of this for 199 bucks. All right, that's crazy. Little screen protector. Let's check it out and see. I'm pretty sure it's not a tempered glass, but we just gotta make sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, the live video struggles here. This um, this. Okay. I have to beast it open a little bit. Now I'm not gonna use this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But let's find out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, little screen protector, the flimsy one. Nothing fancy. And of course, some poison for the trolls. Save that for your next barbecue event. Now let's get rid of this stuff. Rah! All right, so we'll hold on to the case. Now for the phone itself. Now I went with the gold version. Got one of these stickers on the front. Let's get this out of here. Okay, matter of fact, let's power this up. Okay, here we go. Beautiful design on this. Let me see if I could get lucky and get the stick on the back easy too. All right, there we go. Beautiful looking design. Now, I thought the Hawaii 5X might have had the best design for the trap phones, but this one right here might take the cake. Okay, on the bottom, you got your speaker grills. There's your USB-C charging port. This is the slot right here for your... <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say it today. I'm not going to say it. I promise I wasn't going to say it. For your dual SIM slots. All right. On the other side, you got your power button. You got your volume up and down. Okay, okay. Sluts. All right, you put your sluts right in there. All right, you got your power button, volume up and down. On the top, here's your headphone jack. Now, it's a unibody design made out of aluminum. It kind of feels like a HCC M9, that kind of build. But when you hold this in your hand, this definitely doesn't feel like a $200 phone. I'm literally blown away right now. All right, so Samsung, Apple, HCC, Motorola. Take notes. 
All right, take notes. This is a great time to be alive. Fellas, you could get this phone right here for 200 bucks. You seen the specs yourself? This is insane. All right, here goes your camera and your flash on the back. A little bit of branding, minimum branding. All right, so you got some blue branding. 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display. Now, you know, two years ago, you would have paid $800 for this off contract. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. Let me put my information in real quick. We'll check out the display. We'll check out the UI. We'll check out the camera. Listen to the speakers. See what it sound like. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all. So we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And I got to tell y'all, this phone is a major go. Now, keep in mind, for 200 bucks, you get everything. You get a case. You get a screen protector. You get headphones. You get the USB-C charger with the fast charge and the adapter. You get a beautiful aluminum unibody phone with the Super AMOLED display. I still can't believe this is 200 bucks. All right, this is a win right here. Now, let's talk about the OS real quick. Now, with Blue Stock OS, you get no app drawer, but that's a simple fix. Just download Google Now Launcher or Nova Launcher, and you can switch that up. But real quick, let me show you the toggles. Now, you swipe down, you get your, all your notifications, but if you want the toggles, you got to swipe up, similar to your iPhones. Now, there's some unique toggles right here, and we'll, go, we'll cover them real quick. Look at Super Screenshot. Now, you could take a regular screenshot, just like that, or check this out. Now, you could do a Super Screenshot. The long one. Now, say you was on um, Facebook and you're on a long post and you want to screenshot a bunch of different messages, you will be able to scroll down. Matter of fact, let me show you how that looks. I'll go to YouTube real quick. Let's do a super screenshot. We'll do a long one. Now, I can screenshot this, hit next screen. Then I can screenshot this one, hit next screen, and keep going. All right, so that's a hot little feature right there. Also, let me show you one of my favorites, fake call. All right, so you hit fake call. And you just put the phone down. Now, say you're on that blind date with that chick that you met from Instagram and the pictures don't look like how, how she really looks and you're ready to get up out of there. You're sitting at the table, you're chilling. You know, you're just having some BS conversation and you just wait. Now you get a phone call. Now, the beauty about this is when you answer the phone, listen close. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's a voice that just keeps saying over and over, hi, can you send me the file as soon as possible? Now, that's going to come in handy if you're in a quiet place. A lot of times people can hear that there's somebody on the other end. So you don't want to use a fake call and you're sitting there in silence. At least you have a voice talking. Now, they won't be able to hear what she's saying, but it's a voice. So you could just play it off like, oh, okay, all right, I'll be there in a minute. Sorry, got to go to work. Just like that. So that's a hot little feature right there built into the phone. Now, one thing about this phone, shout out to Blue. This one has the best speakers out of all of the blue phones. Now, if y'all watch my videos, that's usually my number one complaint about blue phones is the speakers. Well, this one, the speakers finally stepped up. I'm gonna play some of my, some music for my YouTube video. Listen to the speakers. Now, I just wanna show y'all something real quick. Let me find my other phone. Speakers actually sound louder. Now, just 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 for comparison, I got the Hawaii 5X right here. All right, now this is another king of the trap phones right here. Listen to the speakers on this one. Basically sound the same. All right, let's pause. And here goes the blue. So shout out to Blue, finally some nice speakers. All right, so I can't even complain about that. Now, the camera. The camera on this is a go also. All right, let me pull up the camera real quick. We'll do a test shot. All right, matter of fact, I just took a test picture right here. Look at the, look at the detail on this. Let's zoom in. Look at that detail. All right, so we'll do another, uh, another quick uh, test photo. Just like that. Let's pull this one up. Beautiful. All right, so beautiful camera. Now, one thing I will say is you got your touch capacitive buttons, but the only problem is they don't light up. All right, so you got your multiple apps button. Okay, so you could get rid of all your apps. Shows you how much 
uh, space you have available. You got your home button. You hold that. That'll take you right to Google now. And you got your back button. They don't light up. But it's only three buttons, so it's only going to take you about five minutes to memorize them. But I would like them to light up. Other than that, 200 bucks for this. On a scale of one to ten, this is a major win. All right, now let's go through the settings menu real quick. Let's see if did we miss anything. Now, this does have the dual SIM slots. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's check our control center. Okay, you got the access um, in the lock screen. Basically, let's see. Not too much fancy stuff. Let's see. You got some smart gestures. Let's turn these on. All right, so you got smart dial, smart answer, pause alarm. You got uh, black screen gestures. Let's see. Um, smart vib uh, vibration remind, smart bright screen, double click to wake up. Okay, that's, that's one of my favorite features. Let's see. You got suspend button. Okay, we'll play with all this stuff later. You do have an LED light. Okay, that's a nice touch. Shows you storage right here. Okay, 32 gigs on board. Let's see, uh, anything else? Okay, so you, you do have some smart gestures. All right, so let's see if that worked. Double tap the screen does work. That's one of my favorite features. Basically, overall, I, I like I said, you get three gigs of RAM on this too. I really can't believe that this is a $200 phone that you get everything with. Now, if you got an iPhone, Maybe you got an iPhone 6S Plus. Maybe you got a, you know, a Windows phone, a BlackBerry, and you want to get a backup phone. That's an Android phone. <sighs> you cannot go wrong with this Blue Vivo 5. 200 bucks. It has everything. Uh, you cannot go wrong with this. I don't have anything to complain about this just yet. Only the lights on the uh, buttons. But other than that, super smooth. Android 5.1. The AMOLED display is beautiful. <sniffs> mind blown. All right, mind blown. So now... We're getting ready to do the Battle of the Budget phones next week. All right, I think this is the last one I'm going to get. So far, I thought the king was going to be the Hawaii 5X, but um, we're going to see. Now, if you look at these builds, these are probably the two best-built budget phones on the market right now. Now, the, the Hawaii 5X is a little bit heavier, but the blue is just a little bit more beautiful. Okay, now this one has this, you know, this little texture on the top. I'm not really feeling that. The back of this one looks 100% like an iPhone. Either one of these phones, you can't go wrong, but so far, I don't know. I think the Blue 5 might be the winner. We'll see. If somebody gives you this phone and just hands it to you and says, here, play with this phone for a few minutes, there's no way on this earth you're going to think this is a $200 phone. I guarantee you that. You buy this phone for a little kid, they're not going to say, oh, you know, why are you buying me the budget phone? Why you got the Galaxy Note 5 and you buying me the budget phone? No, they're going to be 100% happy with this. All right, this is a perfect definition of a budget phone right here. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Glossy underscore Carter, y'all know that's where it's at. Yeah, so next week, we're going to get into the battle of the budget phones, we got all the phones on deck now, uh, so we got a nice little lineup, hit me up in the comments and um, we'll set up the brackets, but so far this is what we got on deck, alright, so we got a bunch of phones, we're going to trap it up next week. Now I don't know if I want to put this big giant, the big blue in here, but we'll see. Alright, so this is going to be the Battle of the Trap Phones going down next week. We'll do a 4 on 4 battle and then we'll have a 1 on 1 championship rank. Oh yeah, one more thing. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.